In today's video, we're going to build a fractal cross scene using Ray TK. You don't need to have any prior experience with Ray TK to do this one. In fact, this would even be a good way to get to know it a little bit before diving in deeper. We're going to run through this one pretty quick, so if you want more explanation on how things work or why we're doing things the way that we are, check out the videos in the Ray TK intro series. The first step is to go to the Ray TK download page. There's a link to that in the video description. On that page, scroll down until you see the file here. We're going for RayTK 0.41.tox or whatever version is current. So download that file and let's head over to Touch Designer. Go up to the root of your project outside the main project comp and then drag that tox file in here. And it's going to take a few seconds while that loads up. When you're done, head back into the main project comp. Clear out any of the default operators that are there, and let's open the RayTK palette using the Alt-R shortcut. We're gonna create a RayMarch render 3D, and then create a null top connected to the first output so you can see the rendered image. You can either switch on the viewer flag there to show it in the background, or open a viewer window and put that somewhere, maybe on another monitor. But I'm going to be using this side panel just to make it easier for you to see what's going on in the video. Select the renderer and open RayDK's Editor Tools menu with Alt-Shift-R. And then under Add Camera, we're going to choose Look at Camera. On the camera, increase the FOV angle to 70. And then let's go back and select the renderer again, open that tool menu again with Alt-Shift-R. And under Add Light, we're going to choose Point Light. And then on the light, we're going to set the position to 5, 5, 5. Open the palette again with Alt-R. And let's create a box frame SDF. And then connect it up to the first input on the renderer. And there we go, we already have a rendered image. Open the palette again and create an iterated transform. And we're going to insert that between the box frame and the renderer. It's going to look like it isn't doing anything yet, but don't worry about that, we'll get to it later. Set the iterations on this to 6. Then open the palette again and create a cross SDF and make sure to get that one and not one of the 2D ones. On the cross, on the axes, change it to XY. And then select both the iterated transform and the cross SDF and open the tools menu again with Alt Shift R. And under combine SDFs, we're gonna go with smooth union and then connect that combine up to that first input on the renderer. For the blend radius, increase that up to maybe 1.3 or something around there. Next, we'll set up a material. With that combined selected, use the Alt-Shift-R shortcut to open the Editor Tools menu, and then choose Apply Modular Material. And we're going to connect the modular mat up to the first input on the renderer. With the modular mat selected, open that menu again with Alt-Shift-R, and under Add Diffuse, choose Orin Nair. Then select the modular mat again, open the menu with Alt Shift R, and under Add Specular, we're going to choose GGX. On the Diffuse Contrib, increase the albedo up to 1, and then pick a color. Then go over to the Specular Contrib and increase the for now up to 1, and increase the roughness a bit up to maybe 0 0.8, and then pick a different color for this one. And that's it for the materials. You can try different combinations of color or refining the settings or moving the light around if you want to dig into this a little bit more. Before we continue on to the last step, just take a second to make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on if you want to find out about the latest tutorials as they come out. And check out my Patreon to get early access to tutorials, exclusive downloads, and a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to be released in the near future. Alright, let's get back to it. 
The last step is to add some animation. And we're just going to be doing that in one spot. So select that iterated transform and open the editor tools menu with Alt Shift R. And then under animate with speed, we can choose rotate X, Y, Z. Then on the speed generator, set all parts of the value multiplier to 30, since we're dealing with angles here and those are in degrees. And then you can use the different parts of the speed parameter to change how much it's spinning or how fast it's spinning on each axis. And then you can use the slider to kind of control the overall speed of that, all of that rotation. And that's it. There are lots of different things that you can try from here, like replacing that box frame SDF with other kinds of shapes, or moving the camera to get different views, or using other modes on the combine, like the column union or stair union modes. It's also fun to map the speed controls for the different axes to MIDI knobs or something like that, so you can change the speed and have it go back and forth and that sort of thing. I look forward to seeing what you all do with this, and when you post, use the RayTK hashtag, and at least on Instagram, tag me if you want to show off your work. Thanks for watching, and again, make sure to hit that subscribe button.